Are the Georgia Bulldogs ever going to lose inside Sanford Stadium again? That's the question that I have for you today. Obviously, it's a ridiculous question because eventually somebody will come inside Sanford Stadium and beat Kirby Smart and the Georgia Bulldogs at some point. But it hasn't happened in quite a while. The Dogs have won 12 straight between the hedges. Their last loss obviously came in 2019 against South Carolina, a game that they just did not prepare for and they didn't wake up for it was at noon it was early bad quarterback play from Jake Fromm uh, just overall bad football especially in overtime there but the dogs have been extremely tough to beat at home the last several seasons they've only lost one game between the hedges in the last six years Kirby lost three in his first year 2016 to Georgia Tech which is not going to happen again anytime soon Vanderbilt, which is not going to happen anytime soon, and to Tennessee on the Hail Mary. That is the last time that the Vols have just beaten Georgia, and it was in 2016. Six seasons later, uh, Georgia's only lost one game on their home turf, and that was to South Carolina. And you know the Gamecocks come back to Athens. That's Georgia's first big game at home in the 2023 season, and the the schedule, as we talked about a lot so far, it's favorable, right? They've got an easier schedule than. You know, most years, uh, and especially at home, they have seven home games. They start off the year, I think it's UT Martin, then Ball State. They're going to win those games by 50 points. Uh, then South Carolina comes to town. Uh, they've had some success in Sanford Stadium the past 20 uh, or so years, but I don't expect them to come in and beat Georgia next fall. So I'm just going to go ahead and write down the dub for Georgia over uh, South Carolina. Kentucky comes to town a few weeks later. Uh, they're going to have a different team. A different team. They fought hard as hard as they could in 21. Um, but I, I don't see Kentucky coming down to Athens and winning that game. They haven't beat Georgia since 2009. I mean, Georgia just has their number. I don't expect the Cats to come into Athens and win. Uh, Georgia also has, later in the year, they've got you know two. They've got Missouri comes to town and then Ole Miss. I think a lot of people are circling that Ole Miss game as – you know, maybe a trap game right before they go to Knoxville, play Tennessee. I think the SEC East is going to be up for grabs. But, you know, Georgia should win all of their home games again. And Clemson right now is at the top. They haven't lost at home in a long, long time. They have an easier schedule. Uh, Alabama is above them, too. And so is Oregon, Cincinnati, and Miami of Ohio, I think. But yeah, the Dogs, are they play really well inside uh, Sanford Stadium at home. And it's not like they've had a bunch of just scrub games, right? In 21, Arkansas was undefeated uh, at the time coming into Athens. The college game day was there. Georgia obviously took them to the woodshed. Tennessee was number one coming into Athens last year. We know what happened. Georgia pummeled number one Tennessee. Notre Dame came to town. I believe they were a top 10 program in 2019. Georgia took care of business. Texas A&M came to Athens later in 2019. I think they were ranked. That was a low scoring game in the rain right before uh, the Georgia Tech game. Georgia won that one. So they've won and played in some big home games. Uh, like I said earlier, Kentucky in 2021, that was a strong, stout Kentucky team that was supposed to give Georgia a fight. And I think they did for about a half, but it is so tough for teams to come inside um, you know, Sanford Stadium and beat these Bulldogs. It's tough to beat Georgia anywhere. If you've got them at home um, <clears throat> or in, you know, uh, you know, uh, location that's not in Athens, whether it's, you know, the Rose Bowl, Sugar Bowl, Orange Bowl, you know, Mercedes-Benz Stadium, it's tough to be Georgia anywhere. To do it in Athens is incredibly tough. Um, the fans really have taken it to another level. They were a loud fan base. I think the Mark Rick years and early on in, uh, you know, Kirby's tenure, but last few years, I do think the Georgia fans have taken it to another level. Uh, the decimal meter chart that they had against Tennessee last year in the rain, fans were going nuts. That was one of the best experiences or atmospheres you could find across college football. Apparently, you know, the numbers, the statistics, you know, the science, I guess, not much of a science guy myself, but the science is that was the loudest college football game of all time was in Athens last year when number one Tennessee came to town and got spanked by the dogs, loudest ever, right? Um, so it can be really, really tough. And I, I, you know, ask Auburn how tough it is to play in Athens. They haven't won since 05. Uh, Georgia Tech has won there twice in the last 25, you know, 20 years. Um, you know, Georgia also goes on the road to Vanderbilt, not a game in Athens, but that's gonna be a home game for Georgia. Always is when they play uh, up in Nashville. They play Tech in Atlanta. 
that's going to be mostly Georgia fans. Always is. So they only have two true road games this year at Tennessee and at Auburn. Those are the only two games in the 2023 season where it's not going to be at least 50% Georgia fans in attendance. I wish they would play the Florida game in Athens and Gainesville for a lot of reasons. But, um, you know, Georgia's got seven, seven true home games. Two on the road, that'll be mostly Georgia fans. That's nine. And then Florida and Jacksonville is going to be 50-50. That's 10. So 10 out of their 12 regular season games are going to have a majority, you know, Georgia fans there. And that's just something crazy to think about. But uh, when the Georgia fans are, are there and they're loud and it's a meaningful game and they want, you know, the the goal is to be loud, they will be. And they do a great job of building that atmosphere. But, you know, Georgia's such a good team. Uh, that it, they dominate on the road too, but it takes a special, special team right now to come into Athens and beat these Bulldogs and put up points in Athens. I mean, it's so tough for teams to come in and match that physicality for 60 minutes. And, uh, you know, we can say it, Georgia hasn't lost a game, a 60-minute game in Athens since 2016 um, because uh, they lost to South Carolina in overtime in 19. So it's been seven years since a team beat Georgia. Oh, excuse me. Oh, no, I'm going to go this way. I'm trying to get gas here in beautiful uh, Forsyth County. Just dropped my son off. Thought I'd make this video here. I'm going to look like an idiot just talking to myself. Actually, we're going to pull up right here, get some gas, uh, and finish this video here. But, yeah, I don't know when Georgia's going to lose at home again. Uh, it's not going to be in 2023. I know that. Uh, who knows? Uh, maybe it, it's going to take Alabama to come into town and, and knock off the dogs or, you know, LSU at their best coming into Athens and winning. Um, but, you know, maybe it's an out-of-conference game. Maybe it's Texas or Oklahoma. But uh, I, I don't see Georgia losing at home for quite a while. Uh, next, I don't know what the 2024 schedule looks like. Maybe there's a team that can compete with them. Uh, turn the car off. Uh, and, and knock off Georgia, but you got to play hard. You got to play physical for, for 60 minutes and you have to be able to handle the the crowd and the noise and they can get crazy, really, really crazy in Athens. And if you went to any of those games the past two seasons, you know that it can get really, really rowdy. And yeah, you know, just, you know, I think fans will tell you too. And I'm in the press box. I got a perfect seat in Sanford stadium. I know how loud it gets, how crazy those fans are and the amount of false starts. I mean, going back to that Notre Dame game in 19, Tennessee last year, Arkansas the year before, uh, it, it's tough because teams go backwards before they know it. And when that crowd is going nuts, it is easy to, you know, have a false start on offense. And if you get backed up, those are even a five yard penalty can be a drive killer when you're going up against the best defense in college football. And Georgia's had that the past two years. So if you're playing an elite defense on the road, you have to play discipline. Uh, but you have to be physical for 60 minutes and no one's been able to do that against the dogs in, in three years. And again, uh, Georgia really lost that game uh, against Carolina. They, they should have won the game. They were better. They were more talented. They were better, better coached. They didn't execute in a number of different ways. Um, but yeah, Ole Miss is not coming in here. Well, Georgia actually got blistered by Ole Miss in 16 on the road, but um, Kentucky's not coming into Athens and winning anytime soon. Neither is Georgia Tech. I don't think South Carolina is or Missouri or Kentucky. Um, it's got to take a special team and I don't see a special team coming to Athens any night, anytime soon to play these dogs, but maybe they could go on a run like Clemson's on now, where I think it's 34, 35 straight home games they've won. I don't know what Georgia's number is right now. I assume it's a school record. Um, maybe in the 80s they had something, but this will be the fourth year where I don't think they're going to lose a home football game. You have to defend your turf, and Georgia's doing that as well as anyone, or at least better than everyone except for six teams right now. They're number six. That number's only going to in increase, but uh, they're at Alabama's level right now, or if you go into Tuscaloosa, it's the same way. You have to fight every play, give it your best, play sound, uh, you know, offense, put up points, and um, handle the pressure of a loud crowd, and that's, you know, what Georgia brings, especially if it's a 3.30 game, a night game, the place is going nuts. It is so tough to beat Georgia and Athens. I don't see it happening anytime soon. Uh, when do you think it could happen? Uh, it's only happened four times under Kirby Smart. Only one time. Some of the people out here. I just saw that. Was, that was fascinating. Um, but, yeah, you let me know 
Is Georgia losing at home anytime soon? I don't think so. Maybe I'm wrong, but um, you know, we'll see. Thanks for watching this video. As always, I will see you over on Dog Post.